Um, so I basically wrote stuff down because I'm professional and vintage. <laughs> Let me tell you, okay, so I decided to not wear makeup in this video. As you can tell, my face is shiny. It's only shiny because I just washed my face and I just put the lotion on my face. So it's like <laughs> glowing. <laughs> and on that whole natural tip, <laughs> my hair, yes. I actually was gonna wear a wig for this. At one point in my life, I was like, no, baby, I shouldn't have taken the braids out. I should wear a wig. But then I was like, let's keep this whole natural element thing going. So that's what we're doing right now. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is a skincare routine. Um, because who doesn't want to have glazed, dormant, glowing skin in the summer? Duh. <laughs> and also, some of my Snapchatters, um, always like ask me, what do you do? Uh, what do you put on your face? What do you use on your face? Uh, yeah. So, I was like, hey, let's do this. And also, I've tried really hard. You know what? I didn't even try because I'm South African. So this video is definitely South African friendly and you can get every single thing I'm going to show you here in South Africa at Discam or Clicks or even grocery stores. Like, <laughs> So as a little disclaimer, I don't know. I don't know if you can call this a disclaimer, but like as a disclaimer, um, I just want to let you guys know that. Uh, OK, so what happened was back in matric, which was last year, um, we had trial exams, <laughs> most stressful time of my life. My skin broke out and it was really bad, like in my, it was the worst it's ever been on my face. So I was kind of like, <laughs> I can't do this. Like no face wash was working guys. So my mom put me on Aurotane because I kept complaining and she had been on Aurotane as well. So she was like, okay, let me just put you on for like, I was on Aurotane for like three or four months. I can't really remember. And that's basically what helped me clear my skin to the point where it was like <laughs> snatched. <laughs> so that's what cleared my skin. Basically what this routine is going to be is basically maintenance of already kind of okay slash good skin. You feel me? Because I don't have really bad skin anymore because I went on RT. By the way, guys, if you don't feel comfortable with your skin, I really do recommend Aurotane. It's not as strong as Accutane, which is Rack. I think it's Accutane. I don't know what the full thing is, but anyways, Rack. It's not as strong as Rack. So, um, yeah, and it does the same thing. Yeah. And you can also get like different dosage levels depending on how strong you need it to be for your face like i really recommend going on it if you're not comfortable with your skin because it really helps clear skin like all the hectic side effects really are so rare that you shouldn't let those be the reason why you don't you know take the polls so basically let's just start from the beginning duh so basically when i'm wearing makeup i will get into my bathroom <laughs> and um, I'll use Vaseline first to take my makeup off. This sort of Vaseline. I only have a small one because every single time I've gotten like the big tub, I never finish it. And then it just ends up staying at home. And then like, you know, there's just like 50 tubs of Vaseline at home. So <laughs> I have a small one right now because I don't know, it's just, you know, it's even, it's still full. Okay, yeah, but anyways. So this is the Vaseline I use to take off my makeup, especially my eye makeup. You get a cotton, what's it? Cotton pad. Yes, a cotton pad. And then you like kind of dab it in there and a rub. Like it gets rid of the stuff so easily and so smoothly without any pain. And it's not going to like irritate your eye or like if you have sensitive skin, it's not going to do anything because it's petroleum jelly. Okay, so that's what I use to get rid of my makeup, especially my eye makeup, not so much my face. And then after that, I wash my face with Pons. I've been using this since grade 10, I think. I literally tried everything and then Pons came into my life and I've never looked back. <laughs> so I use Pons and I just kind of 
lather it on whatever wash it and then that's that uh i let my face air dry um but if i'm in a rush then i'll use my towel but i don't really like using my towel because you know bacteria just wash my face hello yeah so i'll let it air dry and then guys what i'm about to show you is the key to success the key to glowing glazed donut skin <laughs> there's an orange one which is the original and it doesn't have the the aloe vera and tea tree oil the original is much better for people that have sensitive skin because this one kind of like stings i i don't want to make it sound like it burns your face off yeah it has like that minty thing that like makes you tear up it's not as good for people with sensitive uh skin so i wouldn't recommend this one but i definitely recommend the original just use this stuff guys i swear katikira it's it's life that's what i'm saying okay so yeah my skincare routine my face care routine is not that intense so we're gonna move on to my body now because yeah still on that whole glazed donut effect thing okay so basically it's nearly spring and i'm so excited because i haven't shaved my legs for like a month because i was like i'm gonna shave when it's about to be spring and i can just <sighs> release the winter demons you know aka the hairs on my legs that grew over winter <laughs> um, so basically what i used to shave is beet i shave my legs with beet and i shave my armpits with beet it comes with this little spatula thingy I use this for application and then they suggest that you use this to also take the, th the beat off when you're like removing your hair but personally I like using like a normal shaving stick like one of these bad boys and also ha, a tip so the reason this is blue is because it's from the guy section I feel like these companies make girl things weaker like every single time I've bought female shaving sticks they always finish quicker so now I just buy male razors and they last like a good four shaves, which is quite a lot, I rate. Yeah. So I use this to remove the hairs off my legs after I've put the beat. So with beat, I usually put it on before I get into the shower and then I like chill for the six minutes or whatever, usually like brush my teeth or whatever. <laughs> And then I get into the shower and I shave it off with my shaving stick, obviously, um, because I feel like it's better to shave it off and then when you shower, kind of scrub whatever's remaining away, you know? If I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Like you scrub away whatever le was left over. So I wash my body with these. I need to get new ones. You're supposed to change them like every six months so yeah i definitely need to get new ones um, these are like scrubby gloves exfoliating gloves i don't know whatever you call them but they're gloves and they're hard and they just exfoliate your skin every single time you shower so it's just always <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to speak like i don't know words but yeah i use those gloves because they kind of like scrub well every single time and yeah and then when i get out of the shower i will use this cocoa butter i basically just get cocoa butter flavor lotion in any sort of lotion because I, cocoa butter i mean i'm cocoa butter duh why would i not use cocoa butter I use this Vaseline one and sometimes I'll alternate between the Palmer's one and the Vaseline one. Um, the Palmer's one, I use the, the sort of hard petroleumish one because it's good for my skin. As I said before, I have eczema, super dry skin all the time. And also in all my lotions, I will put, well, in loose lotions, like if it's not petroleum jelly lotion, then um, it's this sort of lotion so i will i will put like coconut oil or baby oil or some sort of oil into my lotion 
because I have super dry skin. <laughs> this feels so good. And so I'll put like any sort of oil into my lotion because I have super dry skin and I feel like normal lotion like this will sort of not do a good enough job if I don't add any other oil into it. So yeah, that's what I do. And yeah, I think that's basically it, guys. I think with any sort of lotion, you probably, if you have dry skin like me, you should probably, like I advise that you put some sort of oil so that, you know, it gets right in there, right in there. Oh, and also, when I get out the shower, I kind of wrap myself in the towel a bit, but I don't really like fully wipe myself till I'm dry because when I lotion myself, I like to have like a bit of moistness so that when I put the lotion on, it kind of locks in. If that makes sense like i don't know scientific terms okay all i'm saying is if you moisturize while you're a little damp your skin will lock the moisture in even more okay yes thank you yeah <laughs> so basically that's all i do to take care of my skin it's nothing really extravagant so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you kind of got some tips and if you did please give it a thumbs up and also comment and subscribe you guys can comment any sort of suggestions or what you'd like to see me film um and i will see you guys in my next video next week yes and don't forget to subscribe